time to discuss Liberia is now. What are the issues affecting Liberians? How can these issues be solved? Who are the actors? Remember, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. Join the discussion live on Ellen TV. All things considered, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 7.50 p.m. Join your host, Buema J.V. Buema, creating the platform for an exclusive dialogue on LNTV. Welcome to the program, All Things Considered. My name is Buema J.V. Buema. Tonight, we'll continue our conversation on development made by government with a focus on the PSV City Cooperation, the PCC. Uh, but before we do that, I want you to permit me to address some trending issues in our country. Liberia is a country of law. When the crafters of the Constitution took upon their time to create or to lay laws or articles within the Constitution of our country, they didn't do so because they wanted to let the world know that they were educated. They wanted the world to understand that we are a civilized people who believe in the tenets of democracy. So many people sometimes deliberately and ignorantly choose to ignore the laws and articles in our constitution to do things that can appease them. For instance, on November 17, Saturday, we saw a group of people who believed or who thought that taking the law into their own hand was necessary. Even though what they were doing was not appropriate, they decided to do it. Setting roadblocks, preventing people from other political parties from moving. They did not only set those roadblocks, they even went as far as stopping taxi cabs, instructing people who were wearing paraffineros, bearing the CDC paraffinero, telling them to get out from the car, and they start in inflicting assault on those people. That was a breach of the right. We cannot run Liberia this way. If we want Liberia to be a better country, we must be able to live within the confines of the law. Nobody gave you the audacity to block the way of another person. Nobody. Article 13 of our constitution is categorically and emphatically clear. It gives every individual the right to move freely as long as the movement is not impugning the right of other people. Why are we now trying to ascribe those right to ourselves to think that we are laws and gospel people moving freely trying to get access to their partisans then you block their way you didn't only stop them from going you start throwing rock at them for me i'm taking my stance on this i'm not going to sit back because this is a national concern if we do not say it now people will continue to do it Folks within the Unity Party, majority of them, they think that politics is about war. That when I am not there, it must not be any other person. The CDC gave you an opportunity to lead this country for 12 solid years. With no obstruction. Why can't you give the people an opportunity to lead this country for, for the time that they are supposed to lead? If you think you have alternative options to the leadership of this country, bring them to the table. But engaging in violence is completely barbaric and undemocratic. We cannot take that. You cannot. People marching. First of all, the National Election Commission gave candidate or the candidate of the CDC in that district. They gave him the permit to conduct his rally on Saturday. 
yes there is a right for you to assemble peacefully it is also in the constitution but that right does not stop you from stopping the candidate for cdc to walk on the street and it also does not give you the proclivity the audacity to throw him he and his supporters when he's moving you went ahead and you did it at the end of the day your candidate ran to the facebook and start telling people that one of our partisans died where are the dead bodies we want to see them we want to see those individuals that you claim were were dead or or, 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 or were injured or, or we want to see the people that i saw that were injured were those cdc people who were marching and, and who could not have access to, to where the, 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 the bulk of partisans were assembled. You see him there? That young man was injured as a result of the rock, the stones that were being filtered at them. But today, people are running on Facebook, trying to, they do, you know, this is not what we call opposition. You're not only tarnishing the image of this government, you are tarnishing the image of your country. Your country is, uh, you, you, you claim to love Liberia, but you do not have Liberia at heart. All you wish to have is to be in the a, in a, in a seat of power. You go on Facebook and write, you take color, you pull it in Jefferson Koji's hand, in Mayor Koji's hand. You take, you take pistol, you pull it on the side, you take color, you pull it on the side. To, to, to declare him as somebody that is now peaceful. To portray him as a violent person. Is that, is that a kind of country? That we should run. That's not the opposition. That's not the work of an opposition. You are trying to prevent international people to come to this country. You are trying your best to even stop international support to come to Liberia. You are pre you are presenting this country as a country of hooligans, and that is completely unfair. So that that alone demonstrate that. The situation that occurred on Saturday was well planned, orchestrated by those folks to portray this government as a government of evil. That is what you people plan to do. And we believe this is not the democracy that we've all, that we've all yearned for over the last years. A democracy of minds. And we think the road construction that President Dr. Dr. George Manewe has him back on is now productive. Bring an alternative. Don't go and set roadblock that can prevent people from moving from one place to another to sell their candidate. If you believe that the road construction that is ongoing in New Georgia is not correct, bring an option so that the people can see it. Bring ideas. We want an opposition that can bring ideas that are alternative to what we have on the table. Not an opposition that will be train racks because I see a huge mammoth crowd supporting a candidate. That's not fair. Not because they are ruling party. So you're going to take the advantage to be going to the international wires, going on the Facebook to damage the image of a country because President Dr. Dr. George Manawir is in the leadership of this country. It's completely intolerable. We cannot do that. This is Liberia, a country that we have a common denominator to. You cannot, you cannot undermine the peace of this country because of your parochial benefit. That's not what we call democracy. As I speak to you, the government has just brought into the country a consignment of rice. For the first time, this government is going to give a Christmas gift to our people. When I say gave now, I mean free of charge now. But it's going to be as low to an amount that a family can afford. That rice will be sold at ten dollars for hundred percent broken, and fifteen dollars for fifty percent broken. This is another way of reaching out to those who cannot afford, as to prepare for the bigger picture in our country. President George Manewe is doing everything within his means to see how the common librarian man can go back home happy. But few individuals in this country, because today, what they wanted did not happen on October 10 and, and December 26, they are doing everything humanly possible.
to damage and think this government we will not sit here and allow it to happen you cannot think the image of this government in less than one year what president john manaway has achieved in this country is more than what all president achieved in one year when they became president in this country i challenge anybody to bring an evidence this is proving what i'm saying bring your evidence to the full what president john manaway has achieved from January 22nd when he ascended the presidency to today November 18, 2018 what President George Mane we are I mean President Dr. Dr. George Mane Bakube Fucky Claw Say Gozi Tape has achieved in this country no president has achieved it when we combine on the president none of them could achieve it in one year so why are you trying to bring him down? You're trying to create every scenario to present our country as a country that is not peaceful under the presidency of George Manawia. That is wrong. And you claim to be a patriotic citizen. You are not. You're not patriotic. You don't love this country. You only want to see yourself in power. Because you are not in power, so you are doing everything to undermine the peace of our country. Imagine a lady sitting down Telling the world that two individuals died. Where are the photos? We want to see the photos. We want to see the pictures of those individuals that you claim lost their lives on, on Saturday. You have no evidence. There is absolutely no evidence. The intent was to scare our people for turning out to vote on tomorrow. We encourage every Liberian that one President George Banner we are to succeed, turn out tomorrow and cast your vote. You know already who I'm supporting. I'm not going to campaign here because campaigns have closed. But I want you to go and vote. If you want President George Mano, we have to succeed. He went there and gave you a message. You have to follow what he told you. We must fight to ensure that this government become a success story. For long, many, many years, we've been pulling each other down in this country. What did we achieve? Nothing. Liberia remained a country down the line. It's about time that we come together. Forget about who is in the leadership. Let us all round and rally around that individual to ensure that that person becomes a success story. We can continue to bring people down. Tell little fracas you take him, put on Facebook. Oh, they kill the person. You tell the labor to lay there and he did already. What's that? The next day, the very man that you said, the man died. The man walking on in the community looking for food to eat. Have been wicked to your own self and your own country. That's why we're calling the Queen Agwe barbaric, mischievous, treacherous. We cannot do that. We need to stop. This is the all things considered, and we'll continue uh, this conversation. We're going to play host to the Pins V City Cooperation. Uh, let me take a very short break. We'll come back. We'll go straight to the Pins V City Cooperation to uh, also know what they're here for. They've been making a lot of work since they came here the last time. So they want to tell us some of the progress, the achievement they've been able to make uh, since our last interview. So keep watching. This is the All Things Consider. And my name remains Boema JV Boema. I'm here with you tonight. We're just throwing some light on some trending issues. Remember, the government just brought into the country a huge consignment of rice. And that rice will be released to the uh, public on Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. The rice will be sold at $10 US for broken uh, and 11, 11 rather, if I made a mistake, it's 11 United States dollars for 50% broken. So this is a huge Christmas gift. President George Banner, we are love the people of this country so much. Those of you who went on the football feed yesterday, you saw him. How he was enthusiastic. Doing everything possible to encourage our players to, to play so that we could bring victory home. And indeed it happened. Let us work with him. Let us ensure that he becomes a successful president. So that we all can enjoy Mama Liberia. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Running away from any problem only increases the distance to the solution. The time to discuss Liberia is now. What are the issues affecting Liberians? How can these issues be solved? Who are the actors? Remember, not everything that is faced can be changed.
changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. Join the discussion live on Ellen TV. All things considered, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 7.50 p.m. Join your host, Buema J.V. Buema, creating the platform for an exclusive dialogue on LNTV. This is the All Things Considered, and my name is Buema J.V. Buema. Like I told you, we are here playing host to officials from the Peace Bay City Corporation. They're here to discuss the PCC, some of the works they've been doing, and how they intend to transform the city before Christmas. So uh, let me just introduce them. Welcome to our platform. Kindly introduce yourself and tell us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm Aloysius Chair, Director Community Services Department, Pennsylvania City Corporation. And my name is Jeremiah Dijen. I am the Public Relations Officer at the Pennsylvania City Corporation. Okay. Uh, so you guys are all here tonight. I would like to know some of the plans that the city uh, have for the festive season as we, as we approach Christmas and other festivities. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Boyman, for the opportunity to be back on RN TV to speak to our people about some of the work we've been involved in. Uh, of recent, we've been implementing, uh, enforcing Ordinance 4, Section 9, and that was Section 16. And Ordinance 4, Section 9 speaks about uh, the issue of no selling at the EL, not just the ELW Junction, but on streets, on sidewalk, on the premises of public buildings, public parks, at the entrances of churches and other okay. religious facilities. As you can I see, see, you see a lot of barricades. Definitely. That is the operation we carry on at the ELW Junction 4. So, that's so nobody going to be allowed to sell on the street? Sure. On and the main path? After a series of uh, consultation and that of uh, complaints from the residents of Pingsville about how congested the ELW Junction has been, about how the street setters uh, they deliberately take their markets, their goods, they come on the main street, causing embarrassment for pedestrians and that of motorists. Uh, the mayor, E. Pen Besher Taylor, and that of our team, after a series of meetings with uh, the leadership of uh, the, the, the petty traders, the communities, and uh, we, we thought it was that it was necessary that we enforce the city ordinance and ordinance 4 section 9 prohibits what i'm talking about okay. so that is what we've been implementing for the past two weeks this is the third week we're in right now and since we started we've been receiving series of commendations from the residents of pingsville and currently there's the huge relief at the elw junction and we intend to start this process not just limiting it to the ELW junction but we'll also be going we'll go to all of the congested areas the major interceptions within the municipality of things so we'll go to the e the I'm red light off. so currently that's the outlook of Pinsville city of of ELW junction yeah that is ELW junction okay that's and, cool. and 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 since we started it although in the implementation of of, of, of the laws in Liberia is is sometimes challenging uh, but we like to say thanks to our mayor who been spearheading the process as a matter of fact the mayor had a, a mobile office uh, there you see the mayor at the ELW junction and that, that's a lady who resides in uh, Australia she came Liberia for vacation and she was commending the mayor and she said that in Liberia we always uh, tend to compare Liberia with other countries and we say oh when you visit Ghana we visit Africa this is what happened you see but we do not want to follow the laws that govern our Liberia so you know the city ordinance Burma is the is our constitution within things so so that is what we've been implementing and we'd like to say thanks to the city police the community residents then that of uh, our citizens they've been cooperating with us and not just that we would not just remain at ELW junction 
We'll also go to the major intersections within Ping So we're okay. here to the red light market, the commercial hub. And since we started it, it's been going and we intend to, to, to carry on for what for about Dupont Road? Definitely we'll visit Dupont Road and other hot spots within in Ping so. And we've also been implementing section sixteen of the scene ordinance four. And uh, let me just uh, state it for, for, for the record for those who, who witnessing that this broadcast it says that all commercial activities been conducted on private property or in commo the commercial okay, districts before, before we get to that i want i want to i want to kind of ask the community uh, service director i would like to know uh, what approach did you use how were you able to convince the people uh more especially those individuals who've been selling to the eldb junction how were you able to convince those individual uh individuals with that with regards to the essence of leaving those at that particular uh site. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, thank you for the for the kind of uh, introduction. Okay. What we did at the PNC City Corporation, we invited all the major stakeholders in the city of PNC, PP Pacific, ERA Junction. Okay. We call the petty children to a media, we call the children uh, Kaker Rada to a media, and we call the Mono so to a media. Community consultation. Yes, obviously we did along with community leaders. Okay. And as I speak to you, the huge relief for the community leaders and the community dwellers in the Pins we promote P Pacific and one here every junction. You can see civic community, you see King Grey, you see Babu Town, people are very excited about the kind of work we are doing at here every junction. Okay. So yeah. and so uh, as as our and, 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 and with, uh, with regards to that, also mm -hmm. I would like to know, uh so many people have been complaining about waste uh uh management of debt in the city. Uh, what are you people doing about that? I would like to know. I want. I want to know because there are two specific sections uh, when we talk about enforcing the enforcing of the city ordinance for section nine and that of section sixteen. Okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get to that. I'll, I'll get to that. Come to come to that. Engagement. Okay. You talking about this issue, right? Yeah. We have community engagement with our community leaders in the various communities. We may myself ask them to find a place in the community okay. that should be a temporary structure. Well, also pr 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 provide employment for the young people. Okay. Where do they come and put the waste in the 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 place will be constructed? They have to pay the routine. Ten people will come and pick up the waste and carry to the final dump site. Okay. And that will be part of the community engagement. The community people, the, the community leader, the chair, they all will be part of the process to get the young guys to work along with the city of Prince here. Okay. And and I, I just uh, wanted to complete this um, on the issue of. Uh, the the enforcement of uh, ordinance four section sixteen, and of recent, if you visit most of the markets within Pinksville, uh, we've been enforcing the, the 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 no setting on Sundays and that of national holidays. It is enshrined within the city ordinance, and and we started on the first of uh, November, which was on Thanksgiving Day, and. The marketers, some of them been cooperating and some of them been cooperating, but we just want to, to inform our people that the enforcement of the city ordinance is not about, because a lot of people want to, some of them said uh, they, were, they were come trying to religious the enforcement of the city ordinance. Uh, when it comes to no setting on Sunday, that is why it's on the book. We are not enforcing no setting on Sunday because we want you to go to church it is level of you which are the religion you want to follow and if the city ordinance of Pinsley says that there will be no setting on saturdays no setting on friday would we'll definitely enforce it so uh, we don't want people to make misconstrued what we're carrying on is just about enforcing the city ordinance and when we confiscate your goods it is inscribed within section 16 especially when it comes to perishable goods we, we distribute them to the, the orphanages within Pinksville. And we, we when we started, we even went at the JFK uh, metal home on the Dupont Road. We also distributed some of the perishable goods we took and went at the orphanage, uh, the, 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 the orphanage, the van orphanage home on the ELW8 opposite the SKD Sports Complex, the American for Africa orphanage home. 
so the, our intent is not to to actually destroy the goods of our people or to confiscate the goods from our people our intent is to ensure that uh, there is some sort of relief within the city you have to abide once you reside in within the, the the city limits of things so you must abide by the the city ordinance which is the the constitutions and um, if i may say that is governing things with you have to have baba so that's what we've been doing we've been enforcing ordinance 4 section 9 and that of our ordinance 4 section 16 that's what we've been enforcing okay so how is it like the enforcement process well the enforcement process is challenging and you know when you're enforcing the laws in Liberia it's, it's kind of difficult some people will agree other people will disagree you will get critics people will criticize you but we're not deterred once we are doing the right thing and we want to ensure that things made is better we both of other cities around we both of other countries you yourself can make Liberia better if only you change your minds and attitudes towards uh, your own country if you abide by the rules you abide by the laws definitely Liberia will change but it's been been a little bit difficult but they are understanding there a little bit let me say how sub especially to our uh, police the Pinsu city police they've been doing extremely well and let me say thanks to our mayor who uh, has provided the oversight and is continuously providing the oversight to ensure uh, that this aspect of the city ordinance is enforced and you spoke about the issue of uh, uh, waste collection within our city we have succeeded immensely in recent time in the collection of waste within our city some of the hotspots that have been very difficult to handle we have succeeded let me say hats up to our waste and sanitation team they have done extremely well if you visit the 72nd junction there was a maintenance stock part of garbage at the 72nd junction we have succeeded in clearing that area if you visit the the, the lbs market right opposite this place uh that, so that, 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 that is mean, before i that, that want to see before, after that is the before that's how it was i want to see the after this is the after okay. the, the, uh, this is the, the the process where the, the process the where going on okay the clearing and exercise and still yeah, continuing that, okay but that that is the the gobat chart the photo wow. they're showing is the gobat chart the after photo is there i'm sure the the, the switcher will, will soon get to that but so we've been we've been we've been working with our team okay this is the this is after the, the process so on the second junction that is the second wow. junction and you know boy man uh we are kind of stressed uh, in terms of logistic we spoke about it before but in the midst of the challenges we're facing the mayor has said the job needs to be done that is why we sign on to the job we need to do it so that is that is the process and quickly before before i'm, I'm sure you're about to take the course yeah, the colors, you're yeah. about to take course and we just like to encourage our people we just like to encourage our people to continuously work with us in making things very clean. Come and subscribe with the Pinsley City Corporation. Subscribe or register CBEs within the municipalities. A lot of people do not want to subscribe. They prefer taking the garbage, giving it to the disadvantaged people we refer to as Zogos. They in return take the deck, dump the deck on the streets, which is causing serious problems to the Pinsley City Corporation, especially in terms of uh, the, 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 the uh, collecting the waste within the municipality. So you have to work okay, with the Pinsley uh, City Corporation. Let me just give you two minutes to uh, say something too. Okay, uh, thank you again. As uh, Jeremiah already said, right, the open garages in the city of Pinsley, and we started, we'll be, we'll be started from uh, Double Bridge all the way to the right light. Okay. And, and that is all the abundance through section 15. Yeah. Those abandoned cars that people left on the road, causing traffic congestion, people bringing waste along the road. As I speak to you, community services already started doing the awareness. Okay. So we got only few doing the awareness. And trust me, once we tow your car, you will pay something to the city. Okay, uh, before I open the phone lines, let me just uh, uh, say here that tomorrow is not a national holiday. It is going to be a holiday for residents of district number 13. That is those who are residing in district number 13. Tomorrow is a holiday for them. That holiday is being given so that they can have the opportunity to exercise their political right as, a as enshrined in the constitution of our country. And also the people of Sino, the citizens, both foreign and non-foreign residents in the vicinities of Sino County will also have a holiday tomorrow 
to have an opportunity to go and vote that is those who have their voter their voter identification cards can also go and vote so take it that is it only two individual two communities two district one district and one county have a holiday tomorrow the rest of us are supposed to go to work if you do not go to work you hold yourself responsible because the government has already issued a statement that a lot of you are saying that tomorrow is a holiday tomorrow is not a holiday it is only a holiday for people residing in district number 13 those who are supposed to vote in district number 13 in sino county republic of liberia and before i open the phone lines let me also please sign this warning when you call reduce the volume of your radio of your television go like five meters away of let me say just like a little bit away from your monitor you can monitor but reduce that volume so that you can interrupt us in studio because each time you call sometimes the noise the echo it really disturbs us and we don't want to cut you up because you have a very important and candid opinion to make so the phone line now is zero seven seven eight one zero six triple seven we've discussed national training issues the situation that happened in uh district number 13 on saturday when you call go straight to the point then peaceful city cooperation those are the two cardinal issues that we're talking about here tonight when you deviate from those two issues you are off the line let me take this first call hello your name and where are you calling from hello my name i'm jeff Mumu. yes sir what's your take on tonight edition of the program yeah, first of all, I want to congratulate President John We are for the road project in our community rehab. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. I'm very excited. I pray that all the alleys around our community, you open it because I live right around the uh, Vasco, that right where the guy is that international school. I walk around there today. I saw the yellow machine working. Okay, thank you. So those that can't get in the government, let it go ahead and do it. People will always talk, but we pray for this government, and I know that job we are going to do well for us. This is what I call to thank you. Thank you. you shouldn't forget for all the alleys around us here. You must not get a constructive congestion. Okay, sir. So we pray you. for you that you can do it for us. Thank you. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> I just said it here two minutes ago. When you call, go away from your television. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Your name and where you calling from? Your name and where you calling from? My young man, you, are you listening to me just that I say you all should go away from your TV? Yes. So what happened? Uh, uh, I wait, I wait, I wait. Okay, what's your take? 30 seconds. Yeah, but this is TV. They 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 get it up for the road right now. Call it down there. All right. All right. Yeah. Pass down road. Pass down road. Yeah. Okay. They're taking note. Thank you. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Your name and where are you calling from? My name. Oh. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Your name and where are you calling from? My name is Everest. So I'm calling from TV. Okay, what's your take? Uh, the point is, the point is, yeah, there is selling there, yeah, there is joining of selling. I think I just have to, I don't know, the, 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 the Sony, about TV. Because if you those people that can say red to a current or in TV, they are very on the road. They can create problems for all. For car to pass, they will pass them all come on for one to stop saying no stop being able. Alright, thank you. They can have all too much. So we appreciate those that, that carry on their women and those that see how they are going to be clear for over there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Your name where are you calling from? What's your thing? No. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to say that the people that they put their put me on the street, I want to say they want to be checking on their face, they want to be checking on their face, they want to be Hello, your name, where are you calling from? Yes, hello. My name is Jimmy Fountain, I'm calling from the school restaurant. Yeah, what's your take? I want to say that the two brothers are still, 
But the problem I have problem with uh, when the taxi brings you from town, where they have you have to stop. I think they have to do it in a way that is taxi up to a place, put the people down, and they don't stop them for more than two minutes. Okay, thank you. I want to press, yeah, so they have to work on that. Thank you. Hello, your name is where are you calling from? 30 seconds. Yeah, we have a very similar way to call it on the TV Okay, what's your take? I want to commend the guys in TV for the excellent job being done. I want to recommend to them already have a law that prohibits what you're doing on the street, on the people, in your car, you keep blasting what you're doing on the street. Okay. I have been in Shulam for a lot of them, but for that. That's my appeal to the community. Alright, thank you. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Hello? Your name and where are you calling from? I'm a ghost in King George calling from Paris Street. Huh? I'm a ghost in King George calling from Paris Street. Okay, what's the take? I'm concerned to do a car parking at the other new junction. Okay. There's nothing there to see the street. There's no parking. Anytime car park, people want the car with iron. <laughs> where there's no indication. I don't know if it's in conversation of. But well, I think the people got it there, my brother. You see it, yeah? yeah it's written. It's written, it's written, it's written, but it's written. It's not full. The road is very small. It can't All right, thank you. They will put it in gold. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to make it very big. They will put it down and make it big. <laughs> Your name is where you calling for? Your name is where you calling for? You got 30 seconds. Oh, no. Your name is where you calling from? Yeah, my name is Eddie Philly calling from Chicken Soup Factory. Come on, call him. Okay, okay so what's your take? Yeah, I just, you know, so that I don't have to say it. I mean, you're not very, you're not laudable, man. I don't hear you. Professor John J. Jacobs, we are calling. You can, you can call again on 77 Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Okay, what's the take? Yeah, I would like to tell the state major thank you for the hard work. Because the country that you see so many people here want car to, to get to the country here. So at least if they put in bantry down to each area, clean the area, telling the business people to clean the area, the place will be clean. So I would like to tell you thank you for the talk show. All right, thank you. Hello, Hello. where are you calling from? Hello? Your name and where are you calling from? I'm Daniel Kuba and I'm calling me from Chicken Factory. Okay, what's your take? Uh, for me, the holiday is number 13. It's not doubting me that we are affected in our school. Then we have to suspend the whole school tomorrow that because of those that are attending, we will have to go tomorrow. And then All the schools in this one number 13, there will be no school tomorrow. Yeah. All the stores, all the businesses in this one number 13. Hello, your name where are you calling from? Okay, you can make your call. We have time for one more caller. 0778106777. You can make that call. One more call up from there. We'll go straight to Studio 2 to continue our conversation. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? Okay. To this last caller, your name and where are you calling from? No, you missed it. Okay, let's come back to Studio 2 to continue our conversation. Uh, you you heard what the people were saying. What are you doing about the uh, pipeline pipeline road? Yeah, thank you. And let me say thanks to the quarters and uh, for their inputs. We appreciate it a lot. And uh, the issue of pipeline road, you know, Boyman, we have said it again. The mayor on this medium, and she spoke about how it is kind of difficult in working with uh, the Liberia Marketing Association because bulk of the garbage within the commercial hub of red light are created by the marketeers but it's kind of difficult especially in terms of uh, the liberia marketing association collecting 
uh, garbage fees from the marketeers and they do not want to contribute uh, to the collection of the waste within the commercial hub but our team been working since the person spoke about the pipeline road the issue of pipeline rates are everyday thing just tonight again our team will be working there uh, the, the waste and sanitation team so uh, you know every day the market is selling that is why we we thought the, this sunday uh, no setting on sundays and how to do we thought to enforce it so that it can give our team ample time because they cannot work when the marketers are selling in a day, usually they work in the net hours. That's the situation. Well, you know, so many stories about debt, debt. But sometimes it's not just about going there to clear the debt. What are you doing as a community supervisor? Are you going to those communities to actually talk to the people? Well, man, over and over, just a few Sundays ago, I was in Hamofi community. And I asked Hamofi community, you guys, you guys, please consider area where you guys can place your waste where we come and collect the waste up to present what am I can you, can you imagine the person that has no place government should go and force and you know take out their alley to put and you know they, 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 to construct that little thing of the little containment site that will, that will hold the waste they ask you to you own eminent to me so we can push them to get you for, for, for them to store their waste okay and now you know that even king gray you see King Ray say people wash the clothes on the road, they will put the clothes on the road, they market up the road, and it kind of embarrassing. Well mm -hmm. I got this for them, the mayor will have come, will come up with this. You must clean your place and pin up place before December 50. If you don't do that, those that have the land abandoned, you not cut your grass, we'll cut your grass, clean your place and we'll find you. Yeah, uh, I can say uh, we'll long very strong on that. Long years ago, uh when I was a kid growing up, we used to see inspectors, uh health inspectors going to the various communities for instance the children who usually are uh, defecate and just the parent just leave it open fly sit on it and go to food sit on the food and people eat it in return sometimes this kind of a thing spread diarrhea and other sicknesses sure so it so there was this that there used to be this system put into place uh what is the peace city cooperation okay, doing? Man, man, okay just a few days ago the mayor and myself alone with Dr. Philip Biawu for the environmental uh, health department, right? We built 28 bathrooms in uh, uh, Babustan, makeshift bathroom in the center of the town, 28, and we we'll continue the other communities. We have inspectors in all of the communities, and they are working 24 around the clock to make things happen to make sure do that guy make sure bathroom. You have get you have big house with all bathroom, got our inspector going through that, and we we'll see that one to find you. There are a lot of things on the book at the Pinsley City Corporation, especially in terms of uh, the ordinance. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, getting adjusted after going through long period of civil crisis, coming back, a lot of people not kind of used to uh, the entire city governing things. We have to do it step by step. It's not well, that they saw it in other countries. Yeah, and and that is that is the frustrating part. We're always praising other countries. We're always talking good about other countries. But when we come in our own country, we do not want to abide. That is why the mayor has said she would implement the city ordinance to the letter. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And we are doing this step by step, step by step. All of it is on the book. And just today, we were also implementing ordinance for section 15. We talk about the abandoned vehicles left on the the the, the sidewalks on the streets. We talk about measured garages. Our team, along with that of our, our city police officers, they were also closing this area down. They were towing the the the, 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 the abandoned vehicles. So it's a gradual process. But all we can say, our people must listen to us. They have to work with us. If they want for Pinsley to be better, if they want for Liberia to be better, we have to work with the leadership. We have to work and, and, and we need to obey authority. That has been a serious problem affecting us and we have to change our minds and attitudes in the way we see things about Liberia. This is not about opposition business. Everything you want to do in Liberia, people want to politicize it. We need to change. We need to change if we want for Liberia to be a better place, Burma. Okay. So that is it. This is the all things considered. And tonight, like I told you, we've been discussing national issues and that of the Pinsville City Cooperation. 
they've been doing a great job. Prince V City has been moving forward, you know, going to the communities, trying to reach out to our people, educating them about the essence of keeping the city very clean, and they have been doing other other work. Uh, I would like to know with regards to beautification. Uh, let's forget about clearing the dirt. One of the things that prevent people from dumping dirt is uh, when, for instance, you see, for instance, those areas where people use to dump dirt, it become an area of uh, a flower park where people can go and, or uh, you know, I would like to know what are you doing with regards to that? Okay, Obama, uh, they are about to commence the road construction. Okay. And they say they want to put a dam into that process for ELA Junction, all the way going to uh, park up in, the road construction is about to commence. So any attempt at us, any flower or automobile vacation will be like wasting money. Okay. So we are waiting right after the completion of the road. I tell you, the mayor will be on fit. As you see, the junction clear, it will be beautiful. Okay. Just to add up, if you visit the Pinsley City Corporation currently, there's an ongoing work that is taking place, the Pinsley Park project. Okay. And just today, the, the first phase was dedicated and turned over to the Pinsley City Corporation. That is uh, the, the, the basketball court. And that is a project that will, that will bring so much relief to the residents of Pinsley. The kids will have time to enjoy themselves because there will be a modern playground for the children and there will be the park will be there. Even adults themselves will have the opportunity to enjoy. So there are a lot of things in the problem, like I said, it, it, it requires time. It's a gradual process, but we just want our citizens to cooperate with us. Yeah, is there anything final that maybe I didn't ask you that you would like to talk about? No, no, I just want to extend our thanks and appreciation to all of our community leaders. We have 55 communities in Pinsio and they are working with all the serious to make sure that the mayor realizes her dream. And I'm going to make some of this final one to all of our community leaders and black leaders. Please ask your community dwellers to get the area clean, cut the grass, paint their houses, and do abandoned cars. We definitely took them and will pay for them. Okay. Like I always say, the issue of making things very clean, safe, and hefty is everybody's business. If there's a health hazard within the municipality of Pinsville, not just the mayor will be affected, or the employees of the Pinsville City Corporation. You yourself will be affected. If you do not have the capacity to seek medical attention, it will become worse for you. So what can we do? Let us work together to ensure that Pinsley is clean, safe, and healthy. You can do that by cooperating with the Pinsley City Corporation. Subscribe with Redstore CBEs. Let them collect your garbage for you. You can subscribe as an individual, subscribe as a community. If you cannot subscribe with Redstore CBEs, come and subscribe with the Pinsley City Corporation. We will guide you in the process in order for you to properly manage your waste. Everywhere in the world, the collection of garbage is cost intensive. You have to spare money. Thank okay. you very much. This is the All Things Considered, and tonight we've been playing host to authorities from the Pinsville City Corporation. They've been here telling us about some of the, the activities that they've been embarking upon ahead of the festive season, and you all have been able to hear them say all of those good things. We hope that our people who have been viewing us can practice all of these things, all of those very, uh, very great precautions that... Uh, the Pinsville City Cooperation is giving out the air to us so that we all can be able to live in a healthy and clean environment. This is the all things considered, like I told you initially or previously. Uh, tomorrow you need to go and exercise your uh, constitutional right uh, if you are a resident of District Number 13 and that of Sino County. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday for you. You are not uh, supposed to go to work, you are supposed to go and vote and ensure that you participate in that electoral process and but it is not a national holiday for everybody it is only a holiday for people who are residing in district number 13 chicken soup factory new georgia that is those who register because some of you are living there but you didn't vote there you're voting in different place if you know you didn't vote in the people community please go to work tomorrow for those of you who voted there in 2017 you please go and vote for your candidate tomorrow so that is it. The all things considered, would like to say thank you to all of you who took up all your time to watch us tonight. And we appreciate you so much. But the time is now, friend. This is how I would like to close the curtains on tonight's edition 
of the all things consider my name remains Buema JV Buema it's been a very worthy time being here with you and until Wednesday again we'll meet to discuss another fascinating topic thank you all is running well away from any problem only increases the distance to the solution the time to discuss Liberia is now what are the issues affecting Liberians how can these issues be solved who are the actors remember not everything that is faced can be changed but nothing can be changed until it's faced join the discussion live on Ellen TV all things considered Monday Wednesday and Friday 7 to 7 50 p.m. join your host Buema JV Buema creating the platform for an exclusive 